All right, what's up everyone? Today, I'm gonna revisit a old reel that I have been really using because I thought that it was pretty cheap. And in fact, it's, it, is, it was pretty cheap. It didn't perform as great as the Spirit Fox. I guess it was pretty comparable to the XF50, but X, XF50 was so much smoother. And that is the GH100 from Fishband. And the reason why I'm revisiting today is because I have upgraded the bearings. And no guys, I'm sorry for the <laughs> this one right here. I'm not trying to mislead you guys. I'm actually uh, not using these. This is actually for this. So you guys can stay tuned for that video if you guys want to see Michael bearings on the Spirit Fox. But I actually have upgraded the bearings for the GH100. As you can see right here, this is plain oil ceramic hybrid bearings. I got one right here. And uh, come on. One right there. And the size, it was actually pretty amazing. It was actually very similar. To, uh, actually, it, it came from the kit that I bought from Spool High Speed Spearing for the Casting Spartacus. And you guys can just see the bearing size right there because I never remember those sizes. And I'll leave it in the description below as well so you guys can reference it. But all you need are two of them. Uh, the one that's on the side on a Spartacus, you know, you don't use the one there because, you know, that doesn't have one right here. This is a, a short spool short sh shaft spool, okay? So you definitely don't need that. And yeah, let's take this out for some cast testing. I'm gonna use my typical normal lures, lures that I've, I frequently use for fishing for trout, panfish, crappies, and bass. And uh, we'll see how much improvement the casting distance and see how the brakes work with the new bearings. It's a little windy today, so uh, bear with the noise. I am using the Casting Max Steel. This is their BFS rod. And I am using the Ultralight tip. This is a twin tip rod. It comes with Ultralight and light, but right now I'm just using the Ultralight. This uh, rod right here is, is pretty fun rod. I'll probably talk more about it next time, but uh, I feel that it's a little stiffer than, let's say, this uh, Surinoia, the ones I typically use. Um, so um, yeah, it has its benefits. It's been fun with it. Let's get back into it. I know I've been doing a lot of frog fishing for snakeheads, but back to BFS. Let's go. All right, guys. So I am ready to go. Pretty much. Oop, got a bug on me. All right. So I maxed up the bricks. I'm going to just put it down to, let's say, four. I'm trying four first. And then now the adjust the tension knob as usual. Since I just took the whole reel apart. Should have no wobbly wobbly. And. There it goes. Oh, wow, the lure actually dropped very slow. Interesting. Now, one thing I didn't do when I took the bearings out of my Spartacus, I didn't really clean it. I thought it was pretty fine on my Spartacus, so, you know, I left it as is. But interesting. Let's do a first cast, shall we? All right, that's not too bad. Let's just bring it back in, not trying to catch no fish. Just reel it back in, just for now. But uh, I am throwing a 16th ounce jig head, and I got a new plastic lure here. This is actually a, a homemade uh, lure if you look into like injection molds and stuff like that. My buddy uh, who runs Epic Molds, he sent me these samples. He knew I liked uh, custom stuff, and I always kind of want to pour my own uh, soft plastic bait, but I never want to do it because I live in a small house, and uh, I just didn't want to deal with the fumes. So he was nice enough to share with me some of these. I know he really wants me to try it, but uh, you know, I'm a, I'll am get a little quick promotion, you know? We'll talk a little about this a little later, but uh, total weight, I guess I will have to weigh it uh, later, but there's two inch swim baits, and I'm gonna jack the brake down a little bit. Let's try like three now, second cast. Let's see where it goes. All right, so I think it comes out pretty good. I don't think, uh, I still think uh, the Spirit Fox would do a lot better than this. Oh, I just got a, a whack, which again, I'm not trying to get a bite yet. Let's try to jack it down a little bit more. Breaks two and a half, okay. I know it's windy. I saw my um, real backlash and I thumbed it and I fixed it, but the wind is blowing hard that way. So it's, it makes casting a lot tougher. It's okay, uh, you know. I never come here on a, a perfectly calm day, apparently. So maybe if I lose some tension and try it again right here, maybe, okay. It, it feels a little better now. Maybe I just tightened it too much. And I'm gonna jack the brakes back to three. No thumb. Yeah, no thumb. Three is definitely good if you don't want a thumb. 
Uh, but if you want the maximum distance, you definitely want to go under three. But you know, it's all about using your thumb at that point. All right, let's get it right there this time. All right, so I say that's probably 60% towards uh, that water fountain right there. So I gotta say, I don't feel like it got any better even with the ceramic hybrid bearings. Again, I should have probably cleaned it, but this is probably the heavier jig. Because although it's a 16 ounce jig head, it's actually a little heavier than a 16 ounce jig head. I weighed it many times. This is a uh, an arrowhead jig head uh, with a huge, humongous bait holder, and I think that jacked up the, the weight to more of a uh, I think it's like 2.2 ish grams. So I think this total like 3.2 grams. So it's close to an actual eighth ounce, which is insane. The plastic is pretty heavy, so it's actually really good for BFS fishing. Small lure, but it's still pretty heavy. So, um, yeah, this casting right here is not too bad. I'm a jack. Break it down a little bit now. Two and a half. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely get, gets a lot better. But again, the wind is blowing that way. It's not blowing straight. Uh, but since it's not uh, blowing towards the water fountain, I think just lowering the brakes a little bit did give me the, the extra more uh, distance. So I'm liking it. Now, if you guys uh, haven't seen my last trout fishing video, I shared a uh, section of it where I actually have a mishap with my Spirit Fox. And this is why I wanted to upgrade a GH100. It's because this, I feel like it sits right under the, the Spirit Fox. Uh, but the Spirit Fox casts a lot better, but the Spirit Fox have a flaw. It actually, the spool goes backwards and the reel goes backwards. And I lost some fish many times last year doing it. So that's why I kind of want to upgrade the bearings and see how this do. I'm going to be balls, you guys. I'm going to do it. Break number two. All right. It got pretty far. And um, I got to say the wind is making it pretty tough. All right. Well, um, okay. I guess I got hit by a bass or something. So let's cast it into the wind. All right, so that is, I would say 90% towards the water fountain. So that is impressive, jacking it to two breaks. Now, there's some very light lures that I've been trying to throw at two breaks in the past, like when I first got this, um, uh, well, not this rod, but you know, the reel, I played it with the, uh, the other story, uh, the shorter rod. And it was backlash galore. Okay. Right now, I feel like this is good. Right here. I might have to be using this instead of the uh, Spirit Fox going forward. Oh my lord. There's something right there. It's just tearing my door up. But uh, let me just reel this back in. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it came off. <laughs> it probably got me right on the tail. But uh, guys. Let's put on a different lure and do some more casting. The wind sucks, but you know, what can I do? And here it is, guys. The next contender, my bread and butter, my Euro Tackle, their soft lock tusted jig head, 1 16th ounce or 1.8 grams, and their 2 inch uh, soft plastic swim bait. As you see, it's a lot lower profile than the, uh, the Epic Modes version. This is definitely a lot lighter. I know this is close to 2.5, 2.6 grams. And again, it's my bread and butter. So let's let's give this some casting and see how far this thing go. I'm gonna leave it at the same setting as my last one because I feel like that it was a uh, tune pretty good. I know that one's like maybe half a gram um, uh, more, so it might mess things up. And the wind picked up, so um, y'all know. Let's go. Whoa, that is pretty good. <laughs> Remember I said to you guys when I was fishing this with a, and I, and I actually fish these lures with a shorter rod um, before and I had a little trouble with their stock bearings and that was before I even cleaned it and uh, I want to let you know, guys know their stock bearings was like grease cake so thick and it's, it was like I think they dropped it on a carpet and it uh, during installation and they put it back into the reel and then put it in the box and they shipped it out and that's how bad it was and perhaps that was the reason why I, I was doing bad the first time but uh, after I clean up with some acetone and put my own uh, performance oil, it, it was day and night. But now, even with the 
but, but now with the ceramic hybrid bearings, oh man. Of course, this rod is longer and stiffer uh, than the rod I used in the past. I feel that this definitely cast way, way more further uh, with the upgraded bearings. I am liking this, guys. If you have not gotten uh, your bearings upgraded for a GH100, I totally recommend it, like right now. I feel that uh, I could definitely replace my Spirit Fox right now with this because I am tired of losing fish. Oh, well, I, I mean, that, that was uh, popping off, but I meant like, you know, the spool backing off and everything. But yeah, guys, this, this is good. I mean, look, uh, I mean, the wind picked that one up pretty far because that's a light lure. But it, it still went pretty far. I'm gonna try to cast into the wind now, so I'm gonna go jack it in. I don't care if I catch any fish. All right, let's see. All right, I'm actually gonna fix the lure though, because you always have to fix the lure. I'm gonna cast into the wind. I see it backlash a little bit, and it went to the left, but if you look from me directly to the water fountain, it was at maybe 85, 90% of the way there. Okay, so I have to say, man, the Barons is doing its work. Oh, the wind picking up. Hopefully the audio is okay. But time to do another extreme lure. The Eurotech with D-Vibe, 1 16th ounce, guys. 1 16th. This is the lightest lure. I rarely throw lures this light with the BFS. Uh, mainly in spinning gears, but you know, lately I'm able to do it because I got better rods, better reels. Uh, my spare effects, I could do it. Uh, my Tatula upgraded uh, spool, I could do it. So let's see if this GH100 could do it. This reel could not do it with the stock bearings. I admit, this reel did not do it, okay? So let's see how it goes now. Okay, well, with the wind, obviously we know there's gonna be some backlash. So let me just fix this and uh, we'll get right back at it. All right, so let's jack this up to like, I guess between two and three, so two and a half breaks, and I'll lob it softer. Where did it go? It's so light and it was yellow and clear. It's I couldn't tell where it went. Okay, it went left. I should have expected that. Let's let's do it again. The wind is pretty strong. All right, so it's short distance and it's as expected. But I have to say, it's working. It is working. The bearings have improved this reel dramatically. Holy smokes, guys! Oh yeah. If I were fishing like small. Uh, streams for trout using this guy here it's a it's a yay definitely a yay and let's see if we catch anything reeling this up because I, I love catching fish with this uh z diver <laughs> oops yes guys allergy season the wind is blowing and it's uh pretty bad all right with a little bit of backlash with the wind that's okay it's expected but the distance if i were to estimate here to the water fountain, I would say it is 50, 55% towards there. So let's try again. Wind is okay. Uh, 50%, okay? 50%, that backlashed. So that, that's good. That is very good. Let's try a heavier lure. I think that'll be the last lure and we'll conclude it for today and we'll go back to the car and we'll play with the Suanoya with the upgraded bearings. Last lure, guys, the Z Spender. This is a new jerkbait from Euro Tackle. This is pretty cool. It's gonna compete and it looks way better than a trout magnet. They're trout crank, one eighth ounce. And the length was a two and a half inch three inch I don't remember but anyway guys let's do some casting uh, I'll keep the brakes on high for now because you know oh that is pretty far jerk base is a, a bigger body and one thing I liked about the max steel ca casting max steel rod is because it's stiffer than let's say the other uh, BFS rods I have at the moment and allows me to play with jerk baits holy smokes like I would probably use a light rod to do jerk baits Normally, for something like this tiny, if I were to, you know, twitch, twitch, pause, I would use that. But this guy right here is stiff enough so you can play with jerkbait. Oh man. 
So right now it's casting pretty good. I'm gonna tip it myself into the wind, so excuse a wind noise. And uh, I'm gonna lower the brakes just like one click. Well, I think it went two. And, oh, that's no good. All right, BRB. All right, I'm gonna do a cast across the, the wind. If I were to estimate that this is between the, the thalum, if it was um, directly across me from over there, it, with that crazy wind, it probably was 45. But I know it could have went a lot further. Oh, good opportunity right now. Oh no, backlash. All right, well, like I said, bulkier lures, it's a lot tougher to cast, especially these smaller stuff. Sometimes it's best to go with a spinning reel. But I am, I wanna do it, so I'm gonna do it. Let's try one more time. The wind is actually really good right now. I'm gonna hit the brakes up one more time. And hit the round the same spot and on stop consistently before a backlash. So let's do another cast. Into the left. Distance wise, it's pretty good. Not further than my smaller jigs because they're more compact as expected, but I think it's acceptable. Uh, unfortunately, I never threw jerk baits like these using the uh, gauge 100. Actually, I did when I first took it out. I used the uh, the other rods, yeah. I didn't think I could get it that far without backlashing. Let's just say that. So definitely still improvements. Not the distance I want. Maybe it's just the wind. But overall, guys, you have to upgrade your bearings to ceramic hybrid bearings. And you just need two of them, okay? Again, the size is right here. You can see right on the overlay or in the description below. It's, it's worth every penny. Quick shout out to Busby, the Colony 28 modular tackle box. So guys, I didn't know if you guys heard me when I was at the, the pond. I have to say, man, if you guys get the GH100, two things you need to do, okay? First and foremost, if you're not buying upgraded bearings, ceramic, ceramic hobby bearings, please clean out your stock lube and put some high performance lube and your reel will work a lot better. But if you want to spend the money and see a night and day difference, get the ceramic hobby bearings. You guys saw uh, this casting video and you probably see a few of my other videos that I've used this in the past. Distance were not great. You guys can check out, you know, cards. I put it in a card top right or a couple videos within the description below where I've actually used this reel in the past. Uh, I was, I gotta be quite honest, I was disappointed in this reel in the past, but with the upgraded stuff or clean up bearing, it was a lot better. So guys, I thank you for watching and uh, I'm gonna see if I get back over there. There's actually a lot more people there now with the COVID-19. I may not want to do my video and it went picked up. We'll see guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for these guys right here, man. Oh yeah.